Lee Matthews family forced to relive the tragedy. Now her killer claims he lied in his previous trial. He says he was a victim of three drug dealers. They initially wanted to kidnap a French student who allegedly owed them money. When that plan failed, they forced him to kidnap Matthews to extort money from her father. He says one of the drug dealers shot and killed Matthews. He then pulled her into the bushes and three more shots were fired. When the first shot was fired, my knees gave way and I was crying. When Frank and Jebba came out of the bush, I was sure that they were going to shoot me. They then took Lee's clothes and threw it into my car. I was begging to love. Mudli claims he assisted them because they threatened to harm his family. Among his other startling allegations, police tortured him into confessing to the murder. He says the prosecution was based on lies. Moodley also accused the former investigating officer, Brigadier Pitt Bailefelt, of manipulating and fabricating evidence. This version is the very sa same story I told Bailefelt at my arrest. The same story I told my lawyer the first time I saw him and the same story I have maintained for all these years. I only for a few months in 2005 changed it to the Bailefelt one man did it story. I'm aware that there has been in its rebuttal, the prosecution said Moodley's claims were a figment of his imagination. It argued that Moodley had lied countless times and that this application was an abuse of the legal process. The hearing continues tomorrow.